Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. How many know he's a covenant keeping God? Hallelujah. I thank you for being a covenant keeping God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Covenant keeping God. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, hallelujah. Thank you, God.
the blood won't sweep me. The blood won't sweep me. Lord, he is mighty. He is my anchor. The sun won't. The sun won't smite me. And the moon and the will moon will not hurt me. The blood won't sweep me. The blood won't sweep me. Lord, he is my anchor. You'll never leave me. You said that you won't forsake me. You are right beside me, and that is all that matters. God, you'll never leave me. You said that you won't forsake me, and you're right beside us, and that is all that matters. You'll never leave us. You won't forsake us. You're right beside us. And that is all that matters. You'll never leave me. You said that you won't forsake me. You're right beside me. That is all that matters. You are the covenant keeping God. You are, you are, you are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, covenant-keeping God. Yahweh, Yahweh, covenant-keeping God. You are, you are, you are, you are, covenant-keeping God. You are, you are, covenant-keeping God. Yahweh. Yahweh, the covenant-keeping God. Yahweh, Yahweh, the covenant-keeping God. Oil of gladness. They did excellent Amen. last week. That was powerful. Amen. Well, I greet you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come and say, Heavenly Father, I thank you. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Heavenly Father, I thank you. Heavenly Father, give me Spirit of wisdom, Spirit of knowledge, Spirit of understanding. Spirit of might, spirit of might, spirit of counsel, spirit of the fear of the Lord. Heavenly Father, I thank you. Heavenly Father, I bless your holy name. I declare with my mouth that every will of God, the purposes of God, will be done in my life. God will fulfill. Everything he has spoken concerning me. The Lord will perfect that which concerns me in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I thank you. I bless you. I give you praise, glory in Jesus' name. Come on, somebody clap your hands and give God praise and glory. Mighty God, we thank you. Hallelujah. Let's go quick to 1 Peter 1 13. 1 Peter. 1 Peter 1 13. 1 Peter. I, I want to talk to you on the topic of living with hope. Living with hope. A, a lot of believers, we always, most of us, not all of us, we always miss the blessings of God because we give up in the midst of waiting. And I truly believe the Lord wants me to teach this message about hope. What is hope? How can we be in hope? 
which I truly believe, if you really grab this message, I'm telling you, you will receive everything that God has promised for you. One is to have faith. To receive what God said he's going to do. But because most of the time is not simultaneously. It doesn't happen simultaneously. You know what I mean by that? When God speaks, it doesn't happen immediately. It takes time. The Bible says when you pray, believe, you receive. But you don't have it yet. You believe that God has done it. But there's a time span between when you receive the prophecy and you believe what the Lord has spoken, your purpose or the promises of God over your life. But then there's time to wait to actually have it. That's what I want to focus on today because if we truly have faith in God, faith always grants us in hope. Amen. Hallelujah. Faith granted us in hope. Faith is believing God for what he's going to do in the now. But manifestation is not in the now sometimes, most of the time. But Bible says, now faith. Is that correct? Now faith. In other words, believe now. What I've been spoken, yes, I believe I'm going to receive it. It's going to be done. But it takes time. Most believers lose faith. They don't receive what God has promised because they don't have hope and don't know how to be in hope. Now, let's go to 1 Peter. Chapter 1, verse 13. That's Amplified said. So prepare your minds for action. Be completely sober. See how the Bible started. He said, prepare your what? Aha. Prepare your mind. Mind is a terrible thing to lose. As the man thinks, so he is. What you are thinking, that's what you will do. And what you are doing, that's what you've been thinking. Prepare your mind. I'm talking to you today, church. Prepare your mind. God wants to do great things for all of us this year. Starting this month. Today is 7-7. Double perfection. Double completion. God wants to do great things starting today. I truly believe today is a special day. God wants to do mighty things. Prepare your mind to receive. For what? For action. Faith is an act. Is it? So prepare your mind for action. Be completely sober. In spirit, steadfast, self-discipline, spiritually and morally alert. Look at the next line. He said, fix your hope completely on the grace Hallelujah, of God that is coming to you when Jesus is revealed. Jesus already come to us, so whatever God has promised, fix your hope in the world, not your ability, not your friend's ability, not man's ability, not woman's ability. Hallelujah! On the God that has spoken, on the grace of God. What did I know when God says he's going to do something, he's going to do it. Nobody can stop him. The only man that can stop him if you don't want it. Are you hearing me? He says, so prepare your mind for action. Be completely sober in spirit, steadfast, 
self-discipline, spiritual and morally alive. Don't give up. Fix your hope completely on the grace of God that is coming to you when Jesus is revealed. Let's go to 2 Thessalonians 2.16. 2 Thessalonians 2.16. It says, Now may, may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and our God and Father who has loved us and given us everlasting consolation. That word consolation means comfort. And what? Good hope by grace. Where does hope come from? Hope did not come from man. Hope come from God. And that's what the scripture is telling us here that he has given us God, he loves us and given us everlasting consolation. And what good hope by his grace. So hope come from God. It's very important. We are give you a little basic here to understand. Because if hope comes from God, that means hope is not optimistic. Hope, it comes from God. That means hope is certain. That means hope is what? It's certain. If you are trusting God for something, that means it will come to pass. All you need to do is to continue to hoping for it. Because hope comes from God. God promised. If God promised, hope comes from God. God give you hope. Don't give up. God is going to do it. It might be long, he's going to do it. It might be short, God is going to do it. God is not a God that issue lie. So now, what is hope? We are going somewhere, church. What is hope? Hope is, the, is a favorable and confident expectation of something good Coming from God. I will give that again. Hope. What is hope? Hope is a favorable and confident expectation of something good coming from God. Everything good is coming from God. In other words, don't expect bad things coming from God. The Bible makes us understand that every good and perfect gift. Come on, church. Every what? Every good and what? Perfect gift comes from God. Don't hope for bad things to happen to you. Don't hope for you to lose your house. Don't hope for you to lose your car. Amen. If you come from God, it is good. God has good plans for all of us. I always hope for something good. I woke up this morning, I'm expecting something good. And I know something good will happen today. Because hope comes from God and God has promised great things for all of us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So hope is favorable and confident expectation of something good coming from God. It is an Expectation that only believes for good things to happen. It is an expectation that only believes for good things to happen. Good things to happen. And good things will happen for you starting today. Good things will happen for you this month. I say good thing will happen for you this year. It's an expectation for good things, not bad things. From God. Amen. Amen. Now, what is anti-hope? Remember hope? Hope. 
is a favorable and confident expectation. So in other words, when you are waiting on God, be confident because God is going to do it. Don't lose your expectation because God is going to do it. Don't expect something bad because God is going to do something good. I have learned if I expect something bad, something bad will happen. Amen. So what uh, is our anti-hope? Discouragement and despair are the opposite of hope. The word despair means hopelessness. Anti-hope is discouragement. Anytime you see that discouragement is coming to you, you have to reject it. You have to renounce it. Don't allow it to come into your life. You know what it does? Discouragement and despair take away your hope. It's an anti-hope. Discouragement, despair, are the opposite of hope. Feeling discouraged and desperate a sign that hope has left you. Please just note this. Because I want you to receive what God promised for you. And the enemy always used that discouragement, that spirit of heaviness. You are discouraged for nothing. Some people discourage because they only wait a week. No, I'm serious. Even this weekend, the moment, prophet, look at awesome services that we have this weekend. Do you know after service, enemy begin to attack some people with discouragement? Yes! You should know he's the enemy. He wants to rob you off of what God has released to all of us this weekend. No, you don't mess with me. I'm telling you, you're a liar, you spirit of discouragement. I command you to go in that. You have to fight back, church. Don't keep quiet. You got to speak it. Amen. Speak loud. Speak of discouragement. Go. In Jesus' name. And always happen every time prophetic word or promises has come to us. The next thing you see is discouragement and despair. You begin to reason, is that true? You begin to reason how that is going to happen. You begin to have disbelief. Are you hearing me? And thou, the devil, is a liar. Amen. Anti-hope is discouragement and despair. Are opposite of hope. Feeling discouraged and desperate are signs that hope has left you. If you are feeling discouraged right now and desperate, that means hope is gone. Hope is gone. I don't want you to lose your promises. I don't want you to lose the blessings of God that have been spoken all over all of us. All your purpose in life. Amen. Hope is not expectation. Hope is optimistic expectation to wait until you receive what love has promised. But you can discover hope. If you are feeling discouraged right now or despair, you can recover it. I mean, what to recover it? I mean, you are feeling discouraged. Sometimes something didn't happen to us. We get discouraged because the enemy wants to steal what God has promised for us. How do we re- discover that? Just believe that God is faithful. If you can believe that God is faithful. If you can believe that God is able. If you can believe that God cannot lie. It is impossible for God to lie. 
hope will return back to you. And knowing that his words is true. I mean, believe all the promises of God that you receive are true. Amen. Let me see your hand. If you believe the one you received this past weekend, the one that you received in the past, the one that you received years to come. Now, thank you. Amen. God is faithful. And the word that is spoken is true. I believe, if you believe, it's going to happen. Because it is impossible for God to lie. Amen. 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 Come on, say God is faithful. Come on, say God is faithful. God is faithful. I will continue to expect good things from God. God is faithful. And his words are truth. Oh, so I believe every prophetic word that I've received and I know that God is faithful. It is impossible for God to lie and it's going to come to pass. It's going to come to pass. I will continue to wait on God. I will continue to hope in God. He's going to bring it to pass. I will be steadfast. I will be steadfast. I will continue to serve God. I will continue to do His work. And He will bring it to pass. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. The moment you've declared that, I'm telling you, you've recovered your hope back. The moment you know that these words are true and you know that God is faithful, guess what? Hope is back. Come on, say hope. hope. Welcome. Hope. hope. Stay. Stay. I won't allow you to go again. Discouragement. Get out from my life. Now, in the name of Jesus, I believe all the spoken wait on God I will continue to hope and it will come to pass because my God is faithful come on tell somebody my God is faithful my God is faithful my God is faithful my God is faithful and his words are true in Jesus name come on somebody give him a shout of praise give him a shout of praise Anytime you are discouraged and despair, the enemy have replaced your hope. Listen to me. It replaces it with discouragement and despair. So what you do? What do you do, church? Then what do you pray? We have to pray a specific prayer. You don't have to pray. Just declare. God, I know that you are faithful. I know that your words are true. I know it's impossible for you to lie. Lord, I believe everything that you are spoken. Let me tell you the moment you begin to speak like that, that's what discouragement has to go. It has to go. Oh, not only I, I do it, sometimes I do it even more. I get my praise on. I begin to praise God for what He has promised. I begin to thank God for what He has promised. It will go. But two ways you can replace it back. Know that God is faithful and His word is true. Amen. I want to provoke you today. We're going to do an exercise. Six things to hope for and expect. I want to give you six things to hope for. I want to challenge your faith and to stretch your hope. Hallelujah. Six things starting from today to hope for. Every day when you wake up, Always hope for something good. 
Amen. Stop hoping that demon will come chase you. I hope you when I get home, they're in my closet. Command them to go. Hello? Some people focus on darkness. Demon, 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 demon. Stop. Leave the demon alone. And look to the greatness of God. To the strength of our God. Those devils, they need attention. I, I like in James, because they're devils. Demon, that means demon. Now, six things I want you to hope for. Number one, that God's future for you is good. When you wake up in the morning, just hope that God, your future, your future for your life is bright, is good, and it's going to come to pass. Hope not every day. Don't hope for sickness. Every good thing comes from God. Jeremiah 29, 11 tells us. He said, for I know the thought that I think towards you. Says the Lord. Thought of peace. Hope for peace. And not of evil. To give you a future and hope. Your future is bright. Hope for bright future. Oh, for good future. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Don't compare yourself with others. No, they might be going through. Amen. Amen. Bright future. Glory to God. God's future for you is great. For everybody. God wants great things for you. Amen. God wants you to enjoy life abundantly. God wants you to live well for abundantly. God wants you to have your own house and have your own car. Hallelujah. God wants to bless you. Take something good. God have that for your future. I think for big things. Amen. I think for a huge thing. I just talked to somebody here, yeah, we're coming. I won't mention the name on the cover of the birthday. Say, Oh, and today's your birthday. I say, I say, No, not today, but this month. He, he said, Oh, okay, give me five dollars. So, after you guys pray for them, and I say, Please give her five dollars. I say, You may be a mistake. I ask me for big money, but you ask me for a little money. So, I'm going to give you what you ask for. Amen. Don't come back and ask for big money. And nobody come back and ask for big money. Ask for prayer. And I will pray for you. Prayer is more than big money. But what I'm not saying, I want you. God have great future for you. Hope for great future. Hope for great future for your children as well. Look at what the Bible says. Is it for I know the Thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord. Thought of peace. If the enemy wants to take your peace, not God. If the enemy that wants you to be sick, not God. If the enemy that wants you to have accident, not God. God wants you to be well. Think about that. If you think about that, bad thing will not happen. Amen. They say the Lord, thought of peace and not evil to give you future and hope. Number two, I want to hope for and expect that God will finish what he has started in your life. No, that's number three. That's number three. The Lord will fulfill his purpose in you. The Lord will fulfill his purpose in you. Psalms 138 verse 8. It said, the Lord will perfect that which concerns me. Everything that concerns you, God is going to perfect it. 
The day of perfection is coming. And God will perfect what is lacking in your life. You might be weak now. You're going to be strong later. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Every, everything in your life will be perfected. In the mighty name of Jesus. Sometimes God allows trial to perfect what is lacking. He used trials. He used fire. He used tribulation. To perfect what is lacking. Amen. Keep on hoping. Don't look about what you're going through right now. We do not look to the things that are seen. We look to the things that are not seen. God is working out something out for you. Perfection is coming. Hallelujah. Let me tell you a story. I'm trying not to tell too much story. It takes my time. But classical teaching is good. There's a man of God from Zimbabwe, Bishop Tudo Bismarck. I mean, know, know about him? Powerful man of God come to America. They bring him to America to preach many times. He said, when he was in the elementary school, that he was the dumbest kid in school. He said, he was there. Dr. Francis was there too. He said, he's the dumbest. He always said, F. If there's, if, there's, if there's anything lower than F, you will give it. I'm serious. Always F. So when they have exam, you know how to say have exam? This picture. Exam, the, all the teachers always know that big smack is going to get what? F. He said, one day, he said, every time after school, he will sit down and cry. When he gets half, those days, teachers are allowed to beat you. They will spank you. Teacher will spank him. When he gets home, his parents will strike him as well. God's man, Pastor Masha was there. Always have. Say every time he will pray and he will pray. But he said, one day, one day, he was on the field. He didn't go home because he was so sad. He was just walking. I said, God, every time F, people make fun of me. He said, been years now. I've you, F, 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 F. So while he was walking, something came. Upon him. At first, he didn't understand it. He shook. He noticed that it's something different, something happened. So, after a few weeks, they had another exam. The teacher already, you know, is an F student. The Lord will perfect everything that is lacking in your life. And the will of God will be done in your life. You see, after that time, they have another exam. So the teacher was expecting him to get what? F. F. So when the teacher marked everybody, almost everybody failed that, that subject. Then when they get to him, the guy get A+. Plus. God, he was there. He was said openly. In Atlanta, A plus. The teacher said, No, he cheated. They say he cheated. You know what they did? They took him and they beat him. And they beat him. Oh, yeah, those days in Africa, teacher beat her. Even my neighbor would beat me. They had to do something wrong. <laughs> the, teacher, the, the teacher beat him, beat him. That is cheated. Almost everybody failed. What? Him? It's an F to them. They beat him. They beat him. They say, I did cheat. They say, yes, you did. So they decided they're going to give him another test. But after beating, but this test is going to be in the room by himself. No bag, nothing. He can cheat. So it was the teacher. The teacher was now the inspector. Watch it to make sure it's not teaching. 
they gave him the exam was more even difficult than the first. The guy said, Dad, another A. He said the teacher was shaking like, what happened to you? I prophesy over you in the name of Jesus that the Lord will perfect everything that is lacking in your life. David said, the Lord will perfect that which concerns me. Everything that concerns you, the Lord will perfect it. Every area that you are weak, you will be strong. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because every area that you are weak, the enemy always comes through that way. But the Lord will perfect it in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, I challenge you. Oh, I challenge you to have hope and to expect that the Lord will fulfill his purpose in your life in Jesus' name. Can we shout amen to that? Let me go quick. Number three. God will finish what he has started. I want you to expect it. Whatever God has started in your life. That the Lord will finish it. In the name of Jesus. You will drop out from school. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The business that you started will not fail. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever God has started in your life. Hallelujah. You will finish it. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for the anointing to finish. You will run the race with endurance. In the name of of Jesus. Philippians 1 6, you know what he said? He said, Being confident of this very thing that he who has begun a good work in you we complete it until the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever God has started in your life, he will finish it. I want you to be expectant, don't give up. You cannot give up. Hope does not give up. As a hope does not give up. As a hope does not give up. It doesn't matter how long you've been waiting. You don't give up. God has spoken it. It will be done. If it's healing, you will be healed. If it's deliverance, you will be delivered. If it's financial breakthrough, you will receive financial breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. You don't give up. You continue to hope. Hallelujah. And expect. Hallelujah. God is the one that gives hope. Hallelujah. You can't give up. You will finish it. I want you to hope. And to be expectant. Whatever God has started in your life. He will finish it. Amen. You will finish what you have started. Regardless of discouragement. Regardless of those that are talking about you that you will not finish. Amen. You will finish it. You will finish it. For me, if you talk about me, actually it helps me. I'm serious. It helps me. When I know people are talking about me that I won't make it. I like to hear it. It provokes me. It makes me to fast more. It makes me to pray more. And it actually tells me that I'm doing good work. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It provokes me. I learned this when I was playing basketball. I always, I told you this before. I always play, play good away. Most players play good at home. Because they have people sharing them. <laughs> But I play good when they boo me. It provoked me. You know what? I want to shut them up. I remember years ago, I got in trouble. They said, I make the shot. And I went, I remember I was playing one time uh, in Texas. I pulled the ball. I was about to move. The ball hit my leg and it went outside. In the stadium, they scream, Ooh, this is not soccer. This is basketball. Go back to Africa. They told me that. But they say last name. I'm not, I'm, 
to go back to Africa. I said, oh my God. Then I went back. I got the ball. <laughs> I shoot that thing. He went in. I said, hey, African can play basketball too. The referee gave me technical foul. Well, what am I saying? It, it provokes me. I feed on that. Some people, it discourages them. The more you shout, the more I focus. The more you talk, the more I focus. The more you talk about me, the more I play even better. Hallelujah. He helped me even in ministry. I'm telling you, when I used to go to nation, I go to India, alone by myself to India. Only me going to India. How Pastor Edwin will pick me up. We go everywhere. There's no worship leader. There's nobody. God told me when I was going, when you go there, make sure you bring your own anointing. It provokes me. It makes me do better. Are you hear what I'm saying? Bring your own anointing. But what am I saying today? What God has started in your life, you will finish it. In the name of Jesus. Let me move swiftly. Number four. You are not alone. God is with you. Hallelujah. You might not see him, but God is with you. Amen. Deuteronomy 31 6 says, Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear nor be afraid of them. For the Lord your God, He is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Do you believe that? God will not leave you nor forsake you. God is with you, church. You are not alone. David said, even if a thousand come against me, even in this, I'll be confident because I know God is with me. Hallelujah. David said, my father, mother, for say, God is with me. Everywhere you go, God is with you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Number five. Provision from God. Provision from God. Provision from God. Come on, I'm entrusting God for provision. Provision from God. Second Corinthians 9 10. I want you to write down all this scripture because we're going to use it to overcome, to live in hope. Please write it down. I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. How to be in hope. You use the word of God. That's what I do. You declare the word of God. You stand upon the word of God. Amen. Please write the obvious scripture that I give you. That's how you receive from God. If discouragement comes, you use those scriptures. You quote those scriptures. You declare those scriptures. Hallelujah. Even the testimony my wife gave, I pray, I declare, and I say, my daughter will come to America. Amen. That's faith in God. Amen. We didn't know how God was going to do it, but I know he's going to do it. I told her, she will come. I'm not going to do it, but I know he's going to do it. I have faith in him. I believe in him. No doubt. No unbelief. Are you hearing me? He's going to come. Amen. 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 The same way believe God for your breakthrough. It will come. Hallelujah. Do you know faith and hope provoke God? It provokes God. When you have faith in him, when your faith level increases, it provokes him. He will expedite your blessing. He will expedite what he plans to do. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He will do it expeditiously. Whether the devil like it or not, who can stop him? Our God is unstoppable. Our God is unshakable. They can stop him. He can do it whenever he wants to do it. 
in the name of Jesus. But he needs your faith. He needs your hope. Hallelujah. You can't give up in the midst of waiting. I will show you, tell you what we're going to be doing. Provision from God. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians 19. He said, now may he who supply seed to the sower. Hallelujah. He who supply seed to the sower. And bread for food. Supply and multiply the seed you sown. Hallelujah. I want to prophesy this over all that were here for this weekend and gave on Friday, gave on Sunday, gave on Sunday, uh, tied an offering, and also Apostle Bobby called for another offering. I didn't know he was going to do that. That's why I was waiting to the end. You know? I didn't know. But those that gave, I prophesy all over your life in the name. And I want to be expectant. I want you to have hope in what I'm about to say. I'm going to stand about this scripture, 2 Corinthians 9 10. That he who supply seed, because God has given you seed to sow. And I thank God you didn't hit your seed, you sow your seed. Some fall eat their seed. If you eat your seed, it will not multiply, it will not germinate. It will not increase. Uh, I prophesy over you as God has given you seed. Uh, and I want you to hope and be expectant. Are you hearing me? That God give you seed and you sow your seed this, during this past conference. I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord you increase your resources in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that the Lord will increase your harvest uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God will give you streams of income. In the name of Jesus Christ, he will give you streams of income. The Lord will bless you exceedingly and abundantly in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody shout amen. And I want you to be expectant. When you wake up in the morning, be expecting multiplication. Only few amen. Did he amen? Okay, 10 now. Provision from God. I remember during COVID when we were in Dubai. We were not afraid. Get to the point, money was done. I mean, my done finished. But we trust God. We trust God that God will provide. I remember, listen to this. I remember there's a man in California. What's his name? Micah. Send us money. About two weeks. He gave me big money in the house. Then after a few weeks, money was gone. No money in a foreign nation. That's a big trouble. If it was in America, it's okay, but. Also, Arab nation. And we don't speak Arabic. Although they speak English there. And we have to pay where we are staying. I said, God, you got to provide. And she provided. Then we were going out to go walk, go to exercise. My phone rang. Guess who called me? Mike. He said, oh! Well, God, I'm sorry. Wrong number. I'm supposed to call somebody else. I don't know why I call you. When you say, I don't know why I call you. Uh, come on, come on. Preach it, Pastor Reggie. God is my witness. Pastor Mitchell, say, I don't know why I called you. But I called you. I'm supposed to call somebody else. Everything okay? You know, do you need anything? I say yes. He said, Do you 
yeah, you know, Pastor Bishop, I said, yes, we need something. He said, really? I said, no, okay, no problem. I'm going to send money to you right now. He wired the money right away. And it was not $50. Also, it was in the thousands. This guy I used to pray for, and Pastor Bishop will tell you, we'll be doing big deal. I told you that before. I pray for him. Boom, the close. Boom, transaction close. Mega millions close. And I was doing a little business at that time, not a close. <laughs> and one day, everything possible. So he's the one that gave us money for all these things to do for this. All of this. Thousands and thousands. And so I used to see the same mic, the same mic, TD Chase and this big, big ministry was using in a small church like this. Showing off, hallelujah, glory to God. They say, My expert, he gave us the money. We laughed at the things of God. We bought this and bought that. We pray, transaction close. He will send money. But the little one that I was doing, I said, God, why now? Why now? Just to close a little bit. But anyway. Provision from God. Number six. Divine protection. I love it. These are promises of God. Expect divine protection. Expect God to protect you. I stand on this, this scripture when our daughter was in, where, in Jamaica. I said, God going to bring that to here in America. Even God show up, he didn't bring her to America. He brought her to exactly where we were. Orlando, we were in Orlando. Orlando, Florida. Man, when, when that happened, I danced. Said, That's my God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? God will protect. Even if he didn't come, she stayed in where? Jamaica. Yeah, man. Even though he stayed there, she stayed there. God will protect her. Amen. Although Cain will not be able to touch their tent. I believe that God is able. Hallelujah. He's able to just protect exactly where she was. That is our God. I said that is our God. Divine protein promise us. We got to trust God for all these things. He promise us. Amen. When the spirit, the angel of death went to Egypt. The children of Israel tent. Nothing happened. God said, even a dog will not move his tongue. Nothing happened. God protected them. God will protect you. God will protect you and your family. God will protect your children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, no evil will come to your tent. The Bible says, he that dwell in the second place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. You are under the shadow of the almighty. No evil. You hear me? No evil. Don't just say you believe it. Don't just say you hope it. Don't just say you expect it. No evil will be for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's our God. You have to hope. You have to believe it. You have to declare it. You have to work it. You got to speak it. He's able to do exceedingly. Even if she's staying in Jamaica. I just need to change my prayer point. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll change my prayer point. I'll tell God to bring her. I'll say, God, protect her. I'll go to the street. God, you said in your word, you will protect them. You will keep them. And believe it. Hope for these things. It works. I know it works for me. He promised us divine protection. I declare divine protection for you and your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen to this. Let's go to Isaiah 54. Let me do quick to finish. Isaiah 54. Are you there? You see, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. No what? Know what? He didn't say weapon will not form. Weapon will form. They will form it. 
Hallelujah. But they will not prosper. The enemy himself will make mistake. The enemy, they will shoot themselves. They will kill themselves. They will destroy themselves. Are you hear what I'm saying? He said, no weapon form against you shall prosper. And every tongue which rises in judgment shall condemn. It is condemned in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn it. In the name of Jesus Christ, expect it. I declare it over you. Every weapon that is formed in the spirit realm, in the natural realm, against you will not prosper. Even though it is formed, it will not prosper. And every tongue that rises in judgment, I condemn it. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Every tongue that rises is condemned. I say it's condemned. I say it's condemned. I say it's condemned. In the name of Jesus Christ. Touch not the anointing of God. He said when the enemy comes like a flood. This When the enemy comes like a flood. The spirit of the Lord. 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 Lord we raise up a standard against them. I declare, let every standard against the enemy be increased in the name of Jesus Christ. He didn't say they will come. They will come. They will come, but they will not prosper. They will form, but they will not prosper. They will speak, but it is condemned. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. See, I expect things like that. I expect it because of the work that I do. Amen. We are called to destroy the works of the enemy. <laughs> that was the work my brother Jesus was doing. <laughs> to destroy. He came to destroy every works of the enemy. Every works of the enemy <laughs> against your family. <laughs> I destroy it in the name of Jesus. I destroy it in the name of Jesus Christ. Destroy. The Bible says he came to destroy the works of the enemy. In that every work of the enemy against your life, I destroy it. Against your family, I destroy it. Against your career, I destroy it. Against your purpose, I destroy it. Against your finances, I destroy it. Against your job, I destroy it. Against anything that pertains to you, it's destroyed. I say it's destroyed. I say it's destroyed. Oh, come on. I say it's destroyed. I say it's destroyed. In the name of Jesus. 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 It's destroyed. Believe it. Believe it. It is done. It is done. It is done. Even sickness in your body be destroyed. Oh, God. I feel the anointing. I say sickness in your body. I cause sickness. I cause disease. Be destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ. In divine protection. In the name of Jesus. Destroy. Infirmity. Destroy. In the name of Jesus. High blood pressure. Destroy. Diabetes. Destroy. Cancer. Destroy. Lack. Destroy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mataka poho. Mataka poyo. Meteke poko. Papa kete. Oh, it be destroy. Destroy it. Aya. Aya. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Every weapon that been formed, you will not prosper against God's people. And every tongue which rises against you in judgment. I condemn it in the name of Jesus. But listen, listen. He said, this is the heritage of the servant. Heritage. It is our right. It is our possession. Hallelujah. It is our heritage. It is your heritage. It is your heritage. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord. And the righteousness 
is for me. Say the Lord. Say the Lord. Say the Lord. You are untouchable. God is with you. Every weapon be destroyed against your life, against your family, against your job, against your body, against your career. In the name of Jesus. 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 I declare it. So shall it be. Every tongue that rises in judgment, I condemn it. In the name of Jesus. And you shout amen. And you shout amen. And you shout amen. Protection from God. Protection from God. You are protected. You are protected. You are protected. You are untouchable. Yeah. 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 The hands of the Lord is upon you. You are protected. You are untouchable. In the name of Jesus. Greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. Hey, devil, they are not alone. We are not alone. The hope of glory, the hope of glory is with us, is with you. I cover you in the blood of Jesus. I cover you in the blood of Jesus. I cover your fam- family in the blood of Jesus. I cover, cover in the blood. Somebody say yeah. Somebody say yeah. Somebody say yeah. I am protected. I am protected. I am protected. I am covered with the blood of Jesus from my head to my feet. I am protected. I am protected. The Lord is with me. The Lord is with me. The Lord will provide for me. The Lord provided for me. Somebody shout. Yeah. 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 You are touchable. You are untouchable. Your Lord is with you. Every weapon. Every weapon. Every weapon. Every weapon. That is formed against you and your family. I destroy it. It will not prosper. It will not prosper. It will not prosper. In the name of Jesus. Masha Kapaha. Pagete Poko. Aya. Aya. It will not prosper. Give me. Oh, I need to stop. It will not prosper. I say it will not prosper. I say provision is for you. Provision is coming your way. In the name of Jesus. Your future is bright. God's future for you is good. Expect good. Expect good. All they expect good. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will fulfill his purpose in your life. It will be fulfilled. Expect it. Have hope in God. No, he's going to do it. No one can stop him. Our God is unstoppable. Our God is unstoppable. Our God is unstoppable. My God is unstoppable. My God is unstoppable. Our God is unstoppable. What he said he will do, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's doing it. He's doing it. Walk in that path. Walk in it. Walk in it. Walk in it. Walk in it. He's doing it. He's doing it for you. He's doing it for you. Yeah. 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 He's doing it. Dance it. Pasha Kapo. It's going to come to pass. It's going to come to pass. The will of God will be done. The will of God will be done. Yes, he's doing it. He's doing it. Oh, 
fight. Oh, fight. Oh, fight. La papa shake me. I want to give you. Do I have five minutes? I have to give you this so I don't come with this next way. The most important. No, it's number six. This is just, I'm giving you something what to hope for. That number one to six is what to hope for and to expect every day. Now, this is the meat of this person and I promise I'll be quick. How can we live I know I have time. I have time next week. I have another thing next week. How? Now that's what believers, a lot of us don't know. How can we live in hope? Number one, I will do it quick. Cultivate a relationship with the God of hope. Please. Why you lose hope and get discouraged? It's because you haven't cultivated a closer relationship with God. When you cultivate that relationship with God, time moves fast. Things happen faster. Oh my God. Please get this. That's why normally I won't go back. I'll just flow with the Holy Ghost. Very important. There's a lot of things I'm trusting God for. A lot of us trusting God for something, right? I cultivate relationship with God. Something I don't even remember. We were flying yesterday. They text me. What we've been doing for almost three years. They text me and give us the apology. I forgot about it because I'm so. 
connect and focus with God. Those other things are there. I'm expecting them. But my focus is on God, not what he promised. Because, oh God, because what is promised is in him. When you focus, you will get it. Yesterday, I showed my wife. I said, do you see this? When you're coming back home, I won't forget that. Why it takes so long? Because he's not connecting to God. He is the God of hope. Please move closer to God. Pray more. Fast more. Praise more. Worship more. Come to church. Don't come. Stop coming to church. Even when you do that, sometimes God will expedite it. Cultivate. Because the amount of hope we have depends our relationship. God of hope. That's the reason we need it. Because if you need it, you will believe. Because you see, the amount of hope we have depends on our relationship with the God of hope. The God of hope on God. Spend time with God. The more time you spend with God, the more focus you're going to have. The more hope you will have. Amen. Because when you connect to God, time becomes almost nothing. Because God is outside of time. Number two. No, this is me. I, I can't go without this. It's like giving you food. Rice, a lot of rice, but there's no meat, no protein, no fish, no goat, no lamb. You know, this is the meat. Amen. Number two, have a daily expectation of good. Please expect good. You won't see light until you begin. To focus on light. If you want to see light, stop focusing on darkness. Can I talk to you another time? Oh God of heaven. Sometimes we focus too much on darkness. The devil, Satan, demon, leave them alone. Focus on your God. You want light? Your God is the God of light. You want promises? Your God is the God of hope. Don't, they are there, but don't focus. On those things. You will see light. When you only. Focus on that. On the dark. No matter what you are facing. Wake up every day. With an attitude of hope. An attitude of expectation. Of good things. Is going to happen to me. Hallelujah. Even sometimes you don't get up from bed. And begin to sing. And begin. Master. That good things is going to happen to me today. Hallelujah. Even number one for you to wake up. It takes a lot of praise. It takes a lot of thanksgiving. Are you hearing me? And I, I will finish. Please forgive me. Oh God, this is the meat. Number three. Declare through the word of God what you are expecting. That's why I gave you those scriptures. That's why when I teach, I like to give scripture to it. Please write it down. Take it home. And declare those scriptures. Declare those scriptures. Speak those scriptures. Hope began in the heart and mind. But it must be expressed through our words and declaration. Can go without giving this. 
This is how you live in hope. Expect those good things. Focus on God. He's the God of hope. He's the God of hope. Focus on him. I know he promises you great things. Yesterday, I will show you. I will show you yesterday. I forgot about it. But I focus on God. He's the one that promised. He's the one that will bring it to pass. And in in order to renew my hope, I have to plug in to the God of hope. Things will be happening fast for you. Fast, quick, 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 and quick. Let us stand on our feet. Yeah, I'm sorry, I have to give you this. I have to give you this. Maybe God's willing next week. Oh, you can't miss church. You gotta invite friends. You gotta invite friends, invite our family. You can't miss church. Next week, I, I want to talk to you about the secret of waiting on God. If God give me the grace, don't go to me. The secret of waiting on God. The secret. Amen. When we say waiting on God, we don't just wait, we're doing something while we are waiting. Serving God. How do we serve God? By serving others. Father, we thank you. Come on, let's lift up our hands to heaven. And let's begin to just bless and thank the God of hope. Let's begin to thank God. He's the God of hope. For God to give us hope, to increase our hope. Amen. And our expectations. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we just thank you. We bless you. We exalt your name. We give you praise. We give you glory. Mighty God, as we come to cultivate a closer relationship with you, the God of hope. Father, give us more hope, O Lord, because you are the one that gives hope. Hope comes from you to continue to trust you. Optimistic expectation. Father, we thank you. And Father, effort, O Lord, that daily we will begin to expect something good from you. In the mighty name of Jesus. But every good gift and perfect gift come from above. Come from God. Father, we just thank you. We bless you for today's service. We give you praise, O Lord, as we cultivate a closer relationship with you, Father. I pray that you will give us hope. You are the Father of hope. You are the God of hope. Increase our hope. So we will be more expectant for what you have for us. Father, we give you praise and glory. In Jesus' name. Can we shout amen? Come on, can we shout amen? Amen, amen, amen. My time is gone. We're going to continue next week. Amen. We're going to take our tithe and offering. Our tithe and offering. I have a scripture for you. While you're getting your tithe and offering ready. Hebrews eleven six. 6. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is. That what? He is. Is what? He is. And that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Don't wait any longer. Let's start giving our tithe and offering. With faith and God, many doors and opportunity we hope for us. You know, sometimes some people need faith. We need faith to give. Let's give our time and our offering by faith. Amen. If you give by faith, guess what? God will reward you. Amen. He will reward your obedience. Amen. We have to obey God. We always have to obey God in what we do. So we have to always know to have our tithe and offering to support the work of the ministry. And as we do that, the Bible says, He is the rewarder. Come on. He is the rewarder for those that diligently Seek him. 
the rewarder of those that obey and give their tithe and offering. He is the rewarder. As we give it, the Lord will bless you. Because his word say so. Amen. We give our tithe to God. I also tell you, when we give it, our tithe and offering is an investment into the kingdom. His kingdom is everlasting. Come on. Do you know that? It's everlasting. This is the kingdom of God on earth. Jesus came to establish it. So we are investing into his kingdom. And as we do that, I like that passage. He said, he is the rewarder. Not the pastor. Not the apostle, prophet. He is the rewarder. Because we are honoring who? Him. We are obeying who? Him. And he is the rewarder that Diligently. Don't give up in giving. Don't give up in giving. Don't give up in paying your tithe and giving your offering. Let's continue to do it. God will reward you. Amen. He is the rewarder. Amen. I believe it. God rewards. God bless. When we give. Way to give is on the screen. Focus. Why we are discovering is because we focus on the gift. We focus on the gift. And the gift didn't show up. So we need to change our focus. And focus on the who? The giver. And we do it simply. Can I give it? Oh, Holy Spirit just gave me this. Can I share this with you? While you are preparing your time? The woman of Canaan that went to Jesus for healing for her daughter. This is what Jesus told her. Jesus told her that I didn't come for you. Remember that scripture? Yeah. I came for the what? For the lost sheep of all. Right? I came to who? To the lost sheep of Israel. It was no time for her to receive that miracle. No, it was no time. Because the Bible said Jesus came first. You know that part. He came first to who? It was not that time. No, it was not that time. I didn't come for you. I came for them. First. But that woman won't go. It's the same thing. Because the woman realized that our deliverance is only in Jesus. You ain't going nowhere. It's the same thing if we are focused on the gift and don't focus on the giver. Because our gift is in the giver. It was not that time. When you that scripture, the Bible says, she came back and worshipped him. Worship always captures God's heart. Ready? We have our tithe, our offering. Come on, let's give. Come on, let's give. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We bless you. We exalt your holy name. We thank you for your word. We thank you for awesome praise and worship. Even today, thank you for what you have done, what you will do. Father, as we cultivate a closer relationship, we go with you. You are the God of hope. You increase our hope. Because now we've learned the most time we spend with God more hope we will have. We thank you. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. We'll be here on Friday. Amen. We have our service, Friday service, starting at 7 30. And of course, Sunday we will be here as well. Are you blessed today, church? Amen. Please, I hope you make notes, especially those three. Very important. I could not skip it. 
That's it. That's it. And as you do that, your hope will increase. As you do that. Amen? The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and the Lord give you peace. Let the peace of God that surpasses all understanding let it guard your heart and your mind through Christ Jesus. Let the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet, sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, let it rest, let it remain, and let it abound with us now and forevermore. And the church of Jesus Christ shout in loud amen. Amen, amen.